Hello Hornby fans and welcome to another episode of Signal Box. First off, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who watched the latest Hornby Memories episode featuring myself. All your comments, your support, you sharing your stories, it was really humbling to see and I appreciate you all for allowing me to share my story. Thank you. Well, we've got lots to get through this month, including a very special unboxing. So without further ado, let's see what's coming up. We take a look at the very special captain, no, Colonel, no, Sir Tom Moore, Great British Rail Freight Class 66 locomotive. I unbox the Centenary Rovex set and we bring you all the Hornby news from the last month. I'm Mike, we're Hornby, and welcome to Signal Box. Like many others, we here at Hornby have been inspired by the achievements of the amazing Captain, now Colonel and soon to be Sir Tom Moore. As a special thank you to not only Colonel Tom Moore and the NHS, but also to GB Rail Freight, Hornby announced the launch of a limited edition model of Locomotive 66731. When we first launched this model, we had initially planned to produce just 500, which quickly leapt to 1,000 and by the end of the evening that had risen to 1,500. The next morning it was obvious that we needed to increase the number to 2,000 but even this quantity was not enough and the quantity rose to 2,500. However the demand continued and we are now at 3,500. As a company we have never experienced the reaction that the launch of this model created which only goes to show how passionate we all feel about the dedication and in some cases the ultimate sacrifice that all those that make up our NHS continue to illustrate. In just over three weeks from its initial announcement, our team had their hands on a sample. We can't wait to see all of you proudly displaying this locomotive on your shelves and layouts. I managed to get my hands on the Rovex 00 train set from our centenary year. Presented in a unique box, I wanted to unbox the set and show you just how great this locomotive is. So, here we have the Rovex 00 gauge electric train set. The first thing you'll notice before you even unbox it is the design on the front. Now, we tried to recreate the original packaging but give it a sort of modern twist. So we've got the centenary logo there up in the left, the Princess Elizabeth right in the center there of this kind of abstract feel to the design around it. I think you'll agree that straight off the bat it looks brilliant. It looks completely different to any of our other sets. It gives it just that little bit of something special to it. It's the 100th year of Hornby and the 70th anniversary of Rovex so why not give it a little something extra. So let's take a look what's inside. So the first thing you'll notice when you open up the box is a story of history of Rovex. Uh, a brief history it is, but Rovex originally used to make uh, miniature cars for Marks and Spencers, but unfortunately uh, a certain car company found that the name was a little bit too close to uh, theirs uh, over at Rover, so they came up with Rovex and um, they sold them to effectively cease and desist making miniature cars. Uh, but Marks and Spencer was so impressed with their cars that they wanted them to create a train set. Uh, and that was where the Rovex train set was born. Now, the original set, as it is here, included the Princess Elizabeth in black. Uh, and you get that chance to just read up on a little bit of the history there. And I think, it, I just wanted to point out because it, it really is a nice presentation of not only celebrating the 100 years of Hornby, but obviously that history of Rovex. Uh, and many consider, uh, Simon Coder said himself, that the DNA of Hornby can be traced back to this set. So, moving further inside the box, we obviously have our user manuals, registration card for warranty and general instructions, uh, which you get in all of our sets. But you'll also get the uh, Certificate of Authenticity. This is numbered 000, but there's 1,000 of them, so you'll get a numbered certificate. And again, it's just got a little, um, little bit of history about Rovex there. And uh, yeah, it's just a nice little Certificate of Authenticity to show you how limited edition this set is. Our railer there, just uh, so you can get your locomotives and coaches on the track nice and easy. Our wall plug, so that we can get electricity to the analog controller. The analog controller also included, so we have that there. Our curved track, of course, and our straights. But of course, 
It's not just about all this, it's the main addition, which is the Princess Elizabeth. So let's get this outside of the packaging. And the first thing you're gonna notice is the detail. As always with our Hornby models, they are extremely detailed and we've come a long way since the original Princess Elizabeth Rovex locomotive. So there's plenty of details on there. The uh, Princess Elizabeth nameplate there. Um, it comes of course included with its tender and the set also includes two coaches. So let's take a little look at those coaches. We've got a first coach. Pop that down there. And we also have our third coach. It always seems like we're beating the same stick here when we talk about the detail on our models, but obviously that's a big part of it. And 70 years on now, we have so much more technology where we can recreate these models in even more detail. And uh, I think you'll agree that just having a close up look there, we can see just how detailed this model is. The coaches themselves, including detail inside the coaches, are absolutely stunning. It's great to look at, it's beautiful to set up on your shelves or just to have as a commemorative set, but you guys wanna see it running, right? So I'm gonna pop this all together and we'll just show you this beautiful locomotive running around the track. So there you have it, that's our Rovex 00 gauge electric train set. I think you'll agree that not only does it look amazing, but it runs beautifully. And I think it's a fitting way to not only celebrate the 100th year anniversary, but the 70th anniversary of the Rovex model itself. Um, it's available now for pre-order, uh, coming soon. I think it's already been extremely popular, but if you can get your hands on it, with that limited run of 1000, you really won't be disappointed. So, and uh, if any of you at home have got the original Princess Elizabeth Rovex train set, please do share on social media and uh, let us know. Thanks for watching and uh, until the next unboxing, we'll see you next time. So many of you took the time to send us your NHS livery entries since the competition launched. There were so many amazing entries and the decision was a difficult one, but after much deliberation, we made our decision. Congratulations to James, who will be receiving one of only two exclusive models. Alongside the competition, fans also had the chance to win the second exclusive model when one of you was chosen at random from those who donated to our NHS fundraising page. Congratulations to Matthew McAdam, who will also be receiving this exclusive model, and an even bigger thank you to all those who donated to the cause. Our initial goal was £1,000, and with your help, our final total was £3,290. This month has seen some exciting releases, including the Mixed Traffic set, our only DCC-fitted set. You can see a full review from Sam's Trains right now. Our blue centenary tin plate locomotive is also available, the perfect way to commemorate the start of our 100 years. A selection of new buildings for your layout, including a GWR signal box, GWR station, Bush Inn and St. Catherine's Church. And finally, we released a special commemorative wagon to celebrate the 10th anniversary of our Hornby Visitors Centre. Worldofrailways.co.uk, the premier website dedicated to the latest model railway news, how-to articles and reviews of model railway products, is to play host to an exclusive event over the weekend of Saturday, July the 4th and Sunday, July the 5th, 2020. Worldofrailways.co.uk will be transformed into a virtual model railway exhibition hub for one weekend only, and everyone is invited. Head over to worldofrailways.co.uk for more details. 
Jenny Kirk joined us again this month to pit old against new with the City of London and Duchess of Montrose to see just how far Hornby locomotives have come. An impressive run from both models, including a haulage test. If you haven't had a chance to watch the video, it's available right now to watch. This year marks the 10th anniversary of our Hornby Visitor Centre. With the restrictions being in place now for over 11 weeks, many of you have not been able to head down to the Hornby Visitor Centre to see our history, browse our models and enjoy a cuppa in the cafe. With uncertainty around when the Visitor Centre may open, we gave you a short tour of the venue. So why not grab a cuppa and a biscuit and take a look around. With us spending more time at home these past couple of months, we wanted to find a unique way to celebrate our 100th year. So we challenge you to create your own Hornby 100 birthday cakes. Here are just some of the efforts, including one from our very own CEO. I did attempt to make one, but it was so good I ate it before I could even take a picture. You'll just have to take my word for it that it was amazing. And finally, we released the second episode of Hornby Memories. This time I told you my story, including how inspired I've been by all of your passion and love for this hobby. I shared some of my own difficulties with mental health and touched on just how important hobbies are to our well-being. Thank you all for your kind comments and for allowing me to share my story with you. If you are struggling, do reach out to loved ones, friends or professionals. It may seem at times that you're alone, but I promise you are not. The month of July commemorates 100 years since Frank Hornby created his first train set. We've had lots of names since then, Rovex, Triang, Triang Hornby, and of course, Hornby that we are today. So we've decided to take over July completely. So we'll be having special competitions and lots of surprises for you. And we here at Signalbox, well, we didn't want to miss out on the action. So coming next month on the 16th of July, we're going to be having a very special birthday episode of Signalbox to celebrate 100th anniversary of Hornby. We'll have special competition, we'll have some special guests, and of course there'll be some birthday cake. So make sure you join us on the 16th of July for a very special episode. Well, that's all we've got time for this month. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, thank you for watching. I'm Mike, you've been great, and I'll see you at the next stop.